crafty friends, this is the Paper Chef here. It is time for our annual catalog walkthrough. I finally get to open up this catalog and show you. So here's what I have planned. Let me take this paper out. <laughs> I am going to walk through this catalog. I'm going to stop and show you several products that I were, was able to order in my pre-order. So you're going to get to see some new products. And I'll even stop along the way and do a little bit of crafting based on what you want to see, what you've already seen, and you know who, who joins me today. So say hi if you're here. I can read the comments at, as at this point. So this is our new 2020-2021 annual catalog. Some of my customers told me that despite my early planning and the fact that I ordered them a catalog back in April, that they didn't get it yet. So it was mailed out in the middle of May through the bulk mailing system and some of my customers have not got, received it. So today in my newsletter, I did send out the PDF. I'm gonna stop here at the kits. This is what I planned on showing you. And I, I will, so you can look at the PDF and you can see everything, hi Nancy, that I'm showing you through the PDF that I sent out in my newsletter. And if you don't have a copy of that newsletter, I will put that in the description later, but I just can't do that right now. So, what I want to stop at is the kits. Now, I love, I love making kits. I did a card kit series during the last catalog, the last two catalogs, and it was a seven-part series. So this catalog alone has one kit that you've already seen. Hello, Honeybee Stampin' Hive. You've seen this kit. I did a, I did a video on this kit. So it, is, it has not retired, meaning this kit, looking up card kit, is, is back with us again in this new catalog. So I may do a whole new video on what I, what I can do with it this year as well. And then this is another kit. I've already ordered all of the kits. Just go to thepaperchef.com, Diane, and then you click on the bottom left, it says updates. I, I didn't put the link in the description, but it's on my blog. Just look up Paper Chef. And when you look up Paper Chef, you're gonna, it's gonna tell you, oh, did you mean Pampered Chef? And you're gonna have to say, no, I really meant Paper Chef. And you might have to do this three or four times, hi Robin just to get through the whole Google search for me. It's very hard to find me at first, but once you find me, I have a website called thepaperchef.com, and on there, bottom left, you can sign up for updates to my blog, and then I transfer those to my newsletter as well. Anyway, so I'm gonna do a series, and if not a series, I'm gonna make videos of all these card kits in the new catalog, and I've already ordered them. In fact, that's what took me so long today. I planned on coming on at noon Eastern time, but everybody was trying to order when the new catalog went live. A lot of demonstrators were trying to order. And so I, I was able to get these kits, but it took me, it took me hours and hours and hours. And that's why I'm, I'm finally on here able to share this catalog with you. Okay, did you get to see that? So that was what, what this page is about. This is a very important page for me in particular. I'll go through other parts of the catalog quicker, but this, this is like my favorite thing is, is the kits. So I do videos every month on paper pumpkin kits and and what you can make with a one paper pumpkin kit. I always subscribe to two and I show you what's inside one and what you can make from one paper pumpkin kit. This is a subscription, like a magazine subscription, in that, but you can also suspend it any time. Paper pumpkin is something ongoing. Whereas these kits are one time, one time kits. You can get an all-inclusive kit, meaning it's gonna come with your stamping block, your ink, and all the parts you need. See, here's, here's a better picture. Let me bring that up a little closer. Okay, that's an all-inclusive kit. Whereas this kind of, and so is this one, looking up card kit. Now this next kit I'm gonna show you, I did order this too, I, I think I ordered every kit there was in here because I love kits. This kit, Gorgeous Posies, is not an all-inclusive kit. It means it's a project kit. And if you watched my last series about card kits, a project kit is when you don't have the stamp set with the kit. It's meant for which demonstrators to go out, and yeah, it is lovely, right? and go out and, and bring the, the demonstrator would bring this. But you can get it yourself, obviously. You don't have to have it, you don't have to go to a workshop. I got this myself, this, this stamp set, Gorgeous Posies. Okay, get well soon, and it has other, these, these are not that small. This is just small in the catalog, but there's a stamp set separately from the Posies kit, the Gorgeous Posies. And then it suggests what ink colors to use, and it's just gonna be so fun to make this. You can, but you can get this kit and not get the stamp set because look at these little things that you're going to get with the kit. See, these things, these um, 
little punch outs and you can stamp whatever sentiment you want on those okay and then I also went over before what project product medleys were so this new product medley is pretty neat looking it's called boho indigo it's pretty interesting looking and product medleys are when you get dies and a stamp set so you get stamps dies designer series paper ribbon um, embellishments and everything all in one but what's great about this year's this year's uh, medley is you get this medley but you can just get the refill too so you can get all these things in the medley but just the refill kit will, will have everything but you won't get the stamps and the dies again what will you get you'll get 48 sheets of designer series paper and you'll get some other stuff I can't I can't read all that right now it's too small for me but that's the kit page okay I'm just gonna move along now so flowers for every season I did three unboxing videos so I went in great detail about all these sweets but I did want to show you some things I just want to show you what these products look like because it, it it helps to sort of see them up close and personal and since the time of this I ordered more things and they came in all right so since the time of that I did my unboxing I should say I have more things to show you so here's here's the new things I have to show you these came in since the time of my unboxing so I'll show you these sunflowers um, let's see what else I have to show you. I, I've shown you this paper already so I'm not going to open up the pack and go through it but look at this awesome paper I just want to show you it for scale and I do have some pages that are open you get 48 sheets in a pack and and the, so the designs are double-sided designs it's called flowers for every season designer series paper I just can't because of the size of my table open up every single product here but I did open up some of this already before on my videos and I want to show it to you because it's just really neat paper in that it highlights the the different new in colors okay so like the the in color like magenta madness look at that you can see the magenta madness popping out hi Cheryl and that's the just jade and this is bumblebee so this flowers for every season sweet it, it's just a great sweet for highlighting all of our new in colors which were also highlighted in the paper pumpkin kit now see what see what I mean by seasons this can be like a wintry flower flowers for every season so this is the only paper I took out of this package I have other papers I can take out of the whole package but in this particular package this is kind of all that's left we'll do a little crafting with this paper later okay so this is neat flowers for every season see we have autumn this is autumn and then we have I'm pretty sure I saved a piece of winter yeah here's a piece of the that's the spring with the tulips see and then you have the this one which is the Christmassy type of wintry okay so flowers for every season the suite is amazing so you get the there's all kinds of things in the suite you can get the whole suite but you can get things separately as well so that's the designer series paper I showed you so you could get everything I'm showing you in all these pages at one time or you can get things separately so I just want to show you some things so this one here is the jar of flowers this is going to be a big hit in fact they even have a special stamp set that we can bring to workshops with us so that that have double the amount of jars for the Stampin' Up! demonstrators because so they figured that a lot of us are going to be doing workshops with these of course when everything is lifted now I'm trying to reach over there to get my jar punch okay this is this is just amazing okay jar punch and we have these little mason jar uh, domes so here's the punch here's the punch here's these domes okay and I'm gonna show you the cards I made with it and then you have the stamp set as well and I went through all this and we did some stamping with it during one of the unboxings so let's let's get through this let's let me just show you that I'm not I'm not gonna open this all up again except for to just show you that I just like to tell you what type of stamp set things are like this is photopolymer just so you know that see photopolymer I'm not going to go through all the different stamps but they're reversible and things like that I haven't played with the reverse sides of them yet so what what else is in this suite little little gems I had to keep everything in a bag because I started losing things and mason jar domes that's these little domes that go inside the punch all right so without further ado I want to show you what I made with this and I already showed this in my brother's can and cut tutorial but some of you aren't maybe didn't see that okay so here's what I made with this this is called by the way flowers for every season so just so you can see where I'm at flowers for every season so what I did is I stamped the jar stamped the bottom of the jar using this stamp with the little stems and then I 
I filled some sequins. These are retired sequins. And then I put these little flower on a wobble spring. Colored this with the Stampin' Blends. And I used another stamp set called Waterfront to make that sentiment. Okay, I'll show you the product I'm using as well. That's part of this suite. It's called, these, these are, I just got these. These are new. They are called the Flowers for Every Season. Memories and More Cards and Envelopes. And they come in five different colors. Okay, so that's a wobble spring. That does, we don't sell wobble springs, by the way. You get those on Amazon. I'll link to them later, but again, I just had to throw this video together last minute. So there was no way I could have put links in the description. It's going to take a while. This is another one. This is the fall version. This little card came right out of the Memories and More card pack. So within this suite, you can get this, this Memories and More card pack. And I went through all this in my unboxing, so I'm not going to rip these all out again. But these are little Memories and More cards. And they go with, the, they go with these cards, so you'd have instant cards. So you, these are just amazing. Now look, you take this little card, you punch a hole out, and these are the little sequins that come in this suite. Those little sequins, and I filled the jar. So this one right here, this, what I'm showing you here is products just from the suite, plus a few of the little new enamel dots that are the in-color enamel dots. I think we're going to, these are going to be like a really popular item. See, because they match all our new in-colors. So that's what I accented that with. And some stickers from the Memories and More pack. So this card here is made solely from the new suite with the little wobble spring. That's the wobble springs aren't from here, but they're from Amazon. They're, but all this is made from Stampin' Up. Like we sell the, the shaker jar domes, the cards, everything. Everything but the little springs, you get those somewhere else. And then this one's all from the suite as well, except I used waterfront stamp set and a different die to make this sentiment. And I used uh, some older sequins. All right, so now I'm ready to show you a new product I have not shown you before on my channel. I had to get it so I could make the suite complete. So during the pre-order, I made several pre-order orders, I guess we could say. We, were, we had limits. Demonstrators were allowed. We were allowed to get one stamp set of each kind, one die set, uh, one bundle or something, uh, two packs of paper. So there were limits, but we were able to get things ahead of time. And I just got this one later because it, I was building up. I was building the suite. Okay, this is, this is the kind of the best part. Sunflower dies. Look at those. Okay, just opening them now for myself. So, really strong adhesive. I usually, I usually store these on a magnet, like later. This is metal. Okay, so this is a metal die. So what you're going to do is you're going to, well, you don't have to. You can just cut this right out of cardstock. And it's heavy duty and you can just make pretty flowers or you can just stamp and add some texture and then cut it out with a so you can just cut out the shapes or you can do some layerings so this one hmm wait that must go around this one okay i'm just trying to see this for myself for the first time let's see how that we're gonna have to use our scan and cut folks i think let's see yeah interesting oh no no no, no. i know what's happening the the flower's not the same size as, as a package. That's what's happening here. I had to confuse myself for a second. Yeah, thank you. That's what I just figured out too. Honeybee stampers. I just figured that out too. I'm like, wait a minute. I'm like, why would they not make... Okay, so that's, that's more like it. So this is going to be able to cut out that perfectly. All right, good. I'm just opening this up for the first time. So exciting that the front of the stamp... Here, we'll just leave that in there. You have to put the sticker on. You don't have to put the sticker on, but they have stickers on there. So that's pretty amazing. You could do some layering. And if you like sunflowers or know somebody who likes sunflowers, this is a great little set. And some things are just fun to just cut out of just paper. You don't even need to stamp it first. All right, so that was the flowers for every season suite. Let me make some, oops, let me make some room. Put those, put those down. I told you I was going to walk through the catalog. So you saw that. Now I'm going to go quicker because a lot of these... Stamp sets are something that some are new and some are returning. So just so you can kind of see, and if you have any questions and you want me to go back to another page later, I can maybe see your comments. Hopefully I can see the comments for a few seconds and they disappear. So if I'm cleaning my table, you don't actually, I don't actually see your comments. Okay. This is important that this stamp set, it's the reason it's important is so many of my crafty friends have what's called the butterfly duet punch. And that punch is something you cut out too. Two butterflies at once. This is a new stamp set to go with that punch. See? Coordinates with the butterfly duet punch. So that one and that one. 
That's what that, that's what this is showing. That little outline is like you can punch these two out at once with the butterfly punch. And then there's another stamp set too as well that coordinates with that punch. Okay, here's something that carried over from the spring mini catalog, this Mountain Air. It was very popular. That's another reversible stamp set. This carried over, but not the designer series paper. You're going to notice that none of the designer series paper from the other catalogs are in here. All designer series paper retires with the catalogs. I mean, as far as I know, that's always happened. Okay, so this is just a great... So this one here is something you might have the bigger daisy. Uh, let's see. Medi this one coordinates with the big and the medium daisy punch. So it says daisy lane. So your big daisy that's been around for a few years now. The medium daisy came out this last past year. You might have these punches that coordinate with that. And it's great. And then this one... This one also coordinates with a punch. It coordinates with the Umbrella Builder Punch. And then this one coordinates with the Timeless Tulips, or let's see, Tulip Builder Punch it's called. The Timeless Tulips is the name of the stamp set. And it coordinates with the Timeless Tulips Punch. Okay, so punches, when it, and the reason I say what coordinates is because whenever you buy the punch and the, and the stamp set together through our catalog, you will save 10% by getting a bundle and that's as a customer but there's ways to get free bundles as well all right so here's the lovely you bundle i'm going to show you that lovely you bundle the lovely you bundle I, i've shown it before but i have a couple examples here here's some here's the little thing i punched out with it i have a couple other samples over here and i'm just trying to find the punch here's the punch Okay, this is this is my favorite new punch. I th I think it's my favorite. I mean, I have to. I haven't played with the whale yet, but maybe the whale will be my favorite. But look at these little fun things you can do with these punches. You can layer up your. You can make little shapes and layer them up. And I did that during one of my unboxings. Okay, so this is this is a nice little set. It's nice scripty, scripty font. And then this is the punch. It's called Lovely Labels. Pick a punch. And when you get the punches, they come like this, like shut. So like that, and then you you open it up, and then I measured it. So it's these are half inch. Um, let's see, three quarters of an inch or one inch. These little shapes. So you just you're gonna punch. You're gonna use designer series paper or cardstock, and you're gonna put it in there and punch it out. And that's how you get these cool little ends. Look at these nice ends, and then you can layer them up. And so I love that, and I've been using that all the time. I just love this punch. So that's the lovely labels. Pick a punch. And here's the stamp set. And when I make something in a little bit, I just, I'll use that. I already have You're My Person already um, mounted because I'm using it for something else. So we'll make something with this. You're My Person. Okay. So let's put that off to the side. So we'll make something with that. And then we have the, uh, just moving along here. So this is something that you may have seen in our spring catalog. This, this one called Dress to Impress. So the designer series paper retired, but then not the stamp set itself. And it coordinates with the dies. And I loved giving out lipstick pens. I gave out these little Be As Bold As Your Lipstick. I, I made, I think, 20-something of those, over 20, and gave those little boxes out with the little lipstick pens inside. I did a tutorial on YouTube about that at some point. Okay, and here's just showing you some examples of how to use that punch. So what, when, you, when you hear the term casing, like, I want to case that card. That means, case means copy and share everything. C-A-S-E. So this is a card that I've seen, or this is a tag I've seen a lot of people case. Meaning, they've copied this tag over and over. I've seen a lot of people do that, this kind of tag. Where, now they don't have the ink color ink yet, because we were just allowed to start ordering the ink color inks today. But I've seen a lot of people do this with tags, layering them up like this. Very nice. I mean, you're still, even if you copy the, the idea out of the catalog, you're still going to make any... There's an infinite number of original designs you can come up with using that concept. Oh, world of good. More new products. This is so exciting for me. So I did get this. I got this at first. I bought, I bought the world of good. But I, didn't, I don't know what happened. I forgot to get the stamps and dies. So as I was opening this with my crafty friends and I started seeing all these examples, I was like, what? You know, I'm forgetting something here. I need to make a little room on my table, but... I want to show you some products I made with this. So then I went ahead and I, I went back and did another pre-order and I got this, the dies and the stamps. So I have not opened them yet. We're going to open them right now. 
And then I'll show you some examples of things that I made with that sweet. A little bit of the paper. We'll do a little bit of paper. So again, let me just clear off this flowers for every season stuff. Because my table will, things will fall and then I'll stub my toe because things will fall on me. All right, there we go. We have a little bit of room now. So this is called World of Good and the World of Good Suite has a stamp set. It has dies, which will open. It has a really neat embossing folder, really neat. And it has all kinds of gorgeous, gorgeous paper. So this is all part of my designer series paper share, which, which I've already closed up the first round or second round. I'm doing it again in the middle of June, or you can sign up by the middle of June, I should say. Everybody who's signed up for the paper share already has already, all your paper has been ordered including this gorgeous one, which I'm pretty sure is already on low inventory. So I was panicking and I was making sure that I got that order in quickly. So my crafty friends can get a sampling of that gorgeous paper. Okay, here we go. So this is just a nice masculine set and it even coordinates with another stamp set that's been around for a couple years, this high tide, right? It'll, it'll go kind of with that nice one too. But anyway, let's see. So this is what I want to show you. These, I want to show you the different components of this suite. So you have, this nice ribbon. See, there's different components. There's coordinating products. So I got I got these products, and I've already opened them on before, but I'll show you kind of how they come, and then I'll show you a little bit about this one. So these come. So this is again memories and more card pack. So I got an extra one of these memories and more card pack that goes with their. In our catalog, we have these cards, and you can make instant cards, or you can make scrapbooks and memories pages. But I only use these for cards. So that's what I wanted to show you. So then you get all these cards and stickers. And I've already made some cards with them. So that's one of the products. Some of them have foil designs. So, I mean, just gorgeous stickers. I mean, lovely, lovely double-sided. A lot of them are double-sided. Okay, so that's the Memories More pack. Put that off to the side. Then we have the Designer Series paper. I'm not going through the whole pack again because I don't want to repeat. For those of you that were at my last, that were at my live where I went through all this paper in great detail. But I just want to show you some cards. Yay, Yvonne has an order arriving today. <laughs> but look at this gorgeous paper. Okay? So I'm not taking it all out of the pack because if I do, I'll just make a big old mess. But that's that's what I showed before. That's the this is the World of Good Specialty Designer Series paper. Specialty in that it has brass highlights, brass foiling through it. Whenever you have a foiled paper, we call it the specialty paper. We have brass in this suite. This is brass cardstock. Two pieces. You get, I think it's two pieces. Let me check. Let's check. Brass foil sheets. Two quantity. Two. You get two pieces in there. Okay, I'm not going to take that out of the package, but it'll become like a big glare on you. And then, and you have the embossing folder, which I must show you the the inside of, or the outside of at least well, and I'll show you the inside as well. Here's the embossing folder. Let me see if I opened it over here. Let me get this one. Because what happened is I didn't realize when I ordered the suite I was going to get it again. But anyway, just, just another story. Live and learn, but that's okay. That's what prizes are for. Anyway, so this is this is the embossing folder. So it's the called Old World Paper Embossing Folder. Okay, and then I have the, I told you about the ribbon. Then we have these cute little trinkets that come in the suite. Look at these cute little trinkets. I love trinkets, things you can do. So these are called antique, what are they called? Antique corners and si slides. So these are, a, that's a slide and a corner. The corners you just glue on there for your design elements and the slides you put the ribbon through them. Okay, so now, and now I want to show you the stamp set and the dies and my cards I made, but I didn't, but just keep in mind when I made my cards, I didn't have this yet. I didn't even have the stamp set when I made my cards. I just had, I just had these memories and more card packs and some other supplies. So this is the beautiful world stamp set. It's a cling stamp set. So nice, high quality. Okay. Nice scripty font. Old world looking. Yeah, this is just a 
gorgeous sweet. And let's see how the dies coordinate. Oh, how exciting. And we're going to take these out. My die cutting machine is not very close. Sorry about that, folks. My phone was ringing and I had to. So I hope my video didn't get interrupted while my phone rang. All right. So this, these are the dies that go along with this world map dies. Okay. So let's see how they coordinate. We're going to just check this out real quick. We have, yep, these globes will go with that. So these, these can cut out the globes. So we have the North and South America side, and then we have the, or the Europe side, and Australia's over there. So we have, so we can put, we can cut out these globes. Or just, you, nice, you have a nice circle, circle die. All right, so I'm happy with that. And you cut out the feather, and you can cut out the insides of those. So I'm very happy with these stamps and dies. We'll put up off to the side. Now, here are the cards I made before I had these things, just playing with new product. And I put things in cards, I mean in envelopes. I put the cards in envelopes is what I'm trying to say. Okay. So after I unboxed it, I went ahead and did this. And I did this with the... The funny thing about this is I did this with the, the cards. I did it with the memories and more cards. And someone asked me how I dyed the paper. They went on my page and said, how did you dye this paper? Or how did you color this paper? I'm like, I didn't, I got it. What are you talking about? There's paper in here that looks like that but I did not color it. <laughs> the paper is different, see? Or it, anyway, there's one that looks like that. And they thought I was they thought I was using that paper. And I said, "No, no, I didn't dye it. I it came like this." So this was just one of the cards I cut it apart. And this was a little feather sticker, and then this was using this here, Miles Apart Lovely Labels Pick a Punch. And I used this stamp set to make this card. Because I didn't have the other stamp set yet. So you can use whatever you want and the products and here's that little that little slider. You can use whatever you want to make your cards. Okay, and then um, what else did I want to say? The new ink colors. That's what I wanted to say about this. I use. I'm using the new ink colors. I'm using. This is the cinnamon cider cardstock, and this is the bumblebee. Back there is bumblebee, because this this coordinates with that sweet. Okay, let me make some room. Here is the next card I wanted to show you. I made this just with the stickers, no stamping, no stamping at all involved in this card because I didn't have the stamps at the time. So this was just a sticker right from the Memories and More card pack. And there is that, I took one of the Memories and More cards out of that Memories and More cards and envelopes pack. And I just embossed it with the Old World embossing folder. That's all I did for that. And then here's just little cards I would give to people. These are just simple, simple. This little thank you cards I will give to someone. So like, you know, this just has the little stickers from the Memories and More pack in there. And I took the, I took our Memories and More cards and envelopes from Stampin' Up and I just a attached these elements from the card pack. I did four of these. I don't know where the rest are. Maybe that, maybe I already gave them away. But that's just an idea of what you can make with that suite. Let me make some room and go faster now because I want to go a little faster through the catalog because we're only on page... 20 something. Okay, so that was that. And then uh, these are just some new masculine sets. Let me put this stuff down here. I'll put it over here. So this is really neat. Game on with the cards. Um, this is not new. This has been around for a while, but this is still geared up garage. I have that one already because that's been around for a while. Um, camping. So you can tell something's new. In fact, every time I look at this catalog, I see something for the first time that I'm now starting to like. I don't know why I kind of missed this campology. I mean, I kind of I glanced over it. This will be fun. This is a fun stamp set. But anyway, this, this little thing means that it's new. Okay, the little N. Okay, nature's, rooted in nature's been around a while. Very classical stamp set that you would want to get because it's really good, nice big sentiments and it's really good to have on hand in your stash. This one, although the paper has just retired, I'm glad that the stamp set carried over because I'm all, I love cutting out my little sailboats with the dies and making little inspirational cards with this set. Okay, we have a new 
machine as well, but it's not ready yet. That's what the pictures are. We have a little mini die cutting machine. It's so cute. We have a bigger one as well. I'll get to that page, hopefully. I don't know. Maybe I'll have to do a second video at the rate I'm going. And whiskey business. Nice one. I did get that one. I love whimsical things. So I loved, I love, I think I got the cards and whiskey. It might be, that's a good theme to go together, the cards and the whiskey. I like masculine sets. This one, Good Morning Magnolia, has been around since last annual catalog, but it was so popular that it came back again. The right triangle. There's some dies, if I recall, that go with that. Some triangular dies. Yes, and you can sort of make this quilted triangular pattern. There's the dies. They're showing right there. That's good for somebody who quilts all these little stitch rectangle dies. Okay. Seaside Notions. That's not new. Tropical, Timeless Tropical. That's something we have in our spring mini. And I love it, and I'm glad I have that. So there we go. Parcels and Petals. This goes ni nicely with that box. I have this die that makes these cute little boxes, and this is a stamp set that coordinates with that die. Just fun, fun stuff, fun new patterns. I love seeing all these new things and new ways to use things. Like this is a curvy keepsake, but it's a new way of using our mini curvy keepsake, the way that you can stamp all these cool patterns onto your mini curvy keepsake. I love what the graphic artists have done here, giving you inspiration All right, Playful Pets. How exciting is Playful Pets? I don't have anything from this suite yet, but I definitely ordered it. This is definitely something that's up my alley with being whimsical. And the stamp set's really nice because, I mean, this is a great suite for pet lovers, but the stamp set has something for pet sympathy, which is really nice. And that's what I end up needing a lot of cards for that. People, you know, if you see on Facebook like somebody lost their pet, cat or dog or something. Okay, so that's, here it is. So sorry for your loss. Hi, Linda. Okay, now here's something that has a lot of sentiments, many mates. Nice, nice collection of sentiments built into that stamp set. And this, to me, looks like it will coordinate. And I kind of overlooked that the first time around, too. I didn't get that, but I probably, I probably will eventually because I do love my Umbrella Builder. And this is saying it goes with the Umbrella Builder punch. So that's nice because if you already have the Umbrella, the, the rain set that I showed you earlier, I'm surprised they didn't put those two together in the catalog. But earlier there was that little rain set with the boots and everything. This is a nice parasol, pretty parasol. And goes nicely with that other stamp set coordinates and, and with the punch, I mean. Okay, nice happy birthday set with a nice die that you can make diagonal happy on or, or straight across happy with these dies. So that's a really nice happy birthday set. Lots. I, I have this one. I've had this for a year, at least a year now. This is a really nice, well set is a really nice one to have because there's so many sentiments on it. And I'm almost thinking I should have got this seaside view. Now I'm just noticing this, like why didn't I get this? I love this. <laughs> That's me sitting on the lounge chair drinking my pina colada. All right, I definitely think I need to do another order now. Not right now, because I, you know what? I just, <laughs> I'm all burnt out from spending so much time trying to order today because everybody was having the same idea. Let's order on the first day. <laughs> okay, this is fun. Basket of blooms. All right, and now I had to have this one, of course. Of course, whimsical, right? Because my, my little piggy stamp set retired, and now I have to replace the piggy with other cute things. And this is one of the cute things he's getting replaced with. Hippo happiness. I get the bundle because when you get the bundle, you save 10%. And the bundle also seemed to have some interesting dies in it to do some nice stitch layering. See, like these tags. I just love this tag in the example and all the little stitching around it. 
Okay, so this was the die bundle. I, I, and you save 10% when you get that stamp set and dies together. So hippo happiness was definitely on my list. Here's what I'm seeing a lot of lately with this flowers made um, blossoms in bloom bundle. I don't think I did get that one, but it is gorgeous. I got this one. This is very nice. His love. And I figured these would be easy to cut out with the scan and cut because look at the well-defined lines around them. Very easy to cut out. And this is just nice because it has big, big letters that you can use for different things. Like you can stamp the C and then put celebrate, congratulations, or cherish. So that's kind of neat, right? And you can make a nice little note card set with these. That would be very nice. This flower here reminds me of one that was in our paper pumpkin recently. A couple months ago, there was a, there was a flower that looks like that. And this coordinates with if you, if you saw last year's holiday catalog and you ordered this, the, the tags in that, there was a stamp set that you can make Halloween and Christmas tags with. This, this is another one that coordinates with those same dies. Oh yeah, if you don't already have a scan and cut, like you, you're going to be able to do so much more with it. A lot of these stamp sets in this catalog don't come with coordinating dies. And even when they come with coordinating dies, I get them, but I still only use the dies for the more intricate things. When it comes to simple things, I'd rather prefer to, to use my scan and cut. Now for the zoo globe, this is something that's going to coordinate with the still scenes. This is this this here is the still. Okay, so if again at Christmas time, last year, let me see if I have it right here because of my box at Christmas. Sorry for making a lot of noise. But there is a, there is a nice little globe set. Here it is. Here it is. All right, so this is a Christmas one. And this one here, Still Scenes, has the globes. Now, remember those domes I showed you? The domes, just going back to what a dome is. These are, these are domes. Hi, Robin. Hi, Sally. I think I said hi, Sally. Okay, these, they make these globes that you can make these cards with. So this is, do you see that? That's a plastic dome. We sell these. We sell these domes. They're custom fit to fit with the stamps and the dies. So it's so I already have the still scene. So I can't wait to play with this. This one together with this one. I can't wait to see like how the whimsical will meet the elegant. Because this this was fantastic with the dies. Cutting this out with foil, that nice intricate pattern. Well not not the pattern itself, the die itself. Anyway, I digress. But that was just I can't wait to see what people do with that. Um Again, I totally missed this going through it the first time. I don't know how many times I've gone through this catalog now and I keep seeing new things. So these are fun. These are called scene builders. My Meadow. They're scene builders where you can just sort of stamp the different elements and make a nice little watercolor looking scene as if you're a nice watercolor artist, right? Look at that. It's just so fun. I love scene builders. There's another one called Waterfront that I own that does that same thing. I may have it handy. We shall see. Oh, here it is. Still scenes. I'm glad it's back around. Yay! Because I already have it. Meaning it was in last year's holiday catalog and came back. And here's another scene builder called Snowfront. So if you like to make scenes and draw your own little, you know, little scenes, then you want to get those scene builders and they can all work in coordination with each other and you have a nice watercolor look. See if I have any from the waterfront. And then we have Nature's Beauty. This is in one of our last year's holiday catalog. Some of these I'm recalling from before. Perfectly Plaid coordinates with that punch. There's a tree punch. Let's see what it's called. It's just called Pine Tree Punch. So if you want to get it start on your Christmas things. Now we will have a holiday catalog coming out not too soon. Or not, not, too, not too long, I should say. Not too long from now. We're going to be having a holiday catalog, but you can get a jump start with getting some holiday items. Now, we do have some holiday items in here, but we're going to have a great deal of holiday items very soon. How happy am I to see my snowman is back? And how happy am I to see that this is back? Those other, those other ones I just showed you a minute ago with the tags, they coordinate with that too as well. It looks like to me, but let me just double check because this says, Coordinates with trio of tags dies. And I think that one does too. Yep. Yep. Coordinates with trio of tags dies. So this one is going to coordinate 
with the same dyes that you have for this. So it's making your products more versatile. Versatile. I love my snowman. I have a snowman builder punch and it's just a great, this one's like a must have. I love making snowmen. I, I don't even know if my punch is totally worn out by now. And no, I'm just kidding. I made like a thousand snowmen last year. Oh, here we go. I wanted to stop at the ornate garden. All right. So what I wanted to do with the ornate garden is I never put this in my unboxing before because the reason I didn't is because it was something that we were allowed to get. Like everybody was allowed to get before. We were allowed to get it a month before the catalog launched. So I never really did an unboxing with it, but I did a couple tutorials on YouTube and such. And recently I went to a workshop and I, I, was, I was able to make some things with this. So I definitely wanted to just show you these products. So in this suite, it's, there's lots of gold in this designer shade paper and there's ribbons to coordinate. So in this suite, there's lots of neat products that coordinate. So you have your, let me see what they're called. Let's see what everything's called. Ornate, ornate garden ribbon combo. So this is called the Ornate Garden Ribbon Combination. So it has terracotta tile and I guess that would be Old Olive. We have the Gilded Gems, the Ornate Garden Gilded Gems. We have what's called the Embossing Folder. And I, here's, some, here's some examples of what I made with this embossing folder. I'm not done with these cards yet, but that's the embossing folder. I just used that foil from the Peacock. It's called the Noble Peacock Suite. I think it's retired now. Let's see. Here's the folder. Ornate Floral 3D Embossing Folder. So this has been available for a while now, so you may have already seen some things made with it. But I just never unboxed it on... I don't think I've ever unboxed it on the camera, but... Then again, I'm like the absent-minded professor sometimes. Here we go. Look at this nice folder. And it's called, it's, it's what's called a 3D embossing folder. And it's a very thick embossing folder. So you, so we have a special plate to use with these embossing folders, or I have a little trick I did in one of my videos about how to make your own little shim. Okay. And then what else do we have? We have, this is a super big suite. This is like a mega suite. Look at this mega suite, meaning there's so many products from it. So here's the ornate, I have to think of the names of these ornate borders dies. And here's an example of how to use the ornate borders dies. I made that element. So a lot of times around my craft room, I have a lot of unfinished products, projects, I mean. And it's not a bad thing. It means that, like, I'm not waiting for something to happen. But when I need to, to do something, like, if, say I need to do a sympathy card. Say, right? For example, I have, I have the, the, this is already made. Right? So I, now I need the sentiment only. I have the, I have the, your elements of your card are your, your card stock. You got your card stock. You got your layers. You got your designer series paper layers. And you got your embellishments and things. So this is an embellishment. And now I need my sentiment. Maybe a little layered sentiment there. And then I would add a little ribbon or gilded gems and I'm done. So I have a lot of projects like this in the works where I'm ready to go. They're ready to be made into whatever they need to be. This can turn into a birthday card or a sympathy card or a thinking, thinking of you card. Okay, so just so you know, that's why I have a lot of... But I also don't finish them because sometimes I get on, I'm kind of like a kid, right? I like to play with my new toys. So when I get something new, I put all the older stuff aside and it's like, oh, I ignore the other stuff. So I'm still in the ornate garden suite. And now I'm showing you the, some more of that suite. This is called the ornate layers dies. Ornate layers dies. And here's something I made with that. You have to combine. So you need washi tape sometimes and you have to like use washi tape to hold these together. So to get this effect, to get that effect, I had to use washi tape or painter's tape to hold this one die to this die. They're not attached. See, but that gives you many, many, many more possibilities when they're not attached of how you can do things, you know, with those. Okay. So that's, hello, Teresa. And what else? We have two stamp sets to go with this ornate garden. Sweet. And we have the ornate style and we have the ornate thanks. I use this one all the time. Ornate thanks. This one, I use it even with other, even when I, I use it with paper that's not even in that suite. Here's an example of how I used just an old project kit, like not old, meaning it's just recently retired. It's called seriously the best project kit. So this was a kit, but then I used these sentiments on my kit. So I used the thanks and seriously and for 
for all your help. So you see how it has like seriously comma, you can put that separately. And then for all your help. And these, these are photopolymer, meaning, look, you can, you can move them. Photopolymer means that you can see through them. Some of them are stained, but that's no big deal. Meaning you can put them, you can combine them in different ways to write, to make different messages. So that's the ornate, thanks, this is ornate style. Now look, this is a cling stamp set, cling. And it means that you can color it and you can do things with it. And I have an example of what I did with that stamp set. That these, This is what I did with that. I made these little pizza, mini pizza boxes. And I haven't put anything in this one yet, but this is using the Ornate Garden Suite. And I was waiting to make the rest of my pizza boxes. I have a bunch of these halfway made. And the reason I was waiting is because we just came up with new stamping blends. Okay, and I just ordered this new stamping blends. And I wanted to make sure my colors, like that I would have colors to sort of match these better. So I did order a bunch of new blends and I'm hoping that helps me a little bit. I don't know, it will see. All right. This is the paper. I was able to order this ahead of time. This is the paper I was able to get last month. So I've been using it a lot in my projects. Okay, it's double-sided and it's called Specialty Designer Series Paper because it has, some of it has some foiling. There's an example of the foiling. And that would be the, that's gold foiling in, in this one. Oops. Looks like a piece got bent a little bit. Oh no, maybe that's just the maybe that's just the light. I don't know. That could be the light. Yes, you need Robin. You need a die cutting machine to do all this. We we sell them, but there, it's our new one's not out yet. But we do have a die cutting machine to make the just to do the embossing folders. You don't know. You don't. You don't need a die cutting machine to do a lot of stamping projects. You can just use punches. And we have punches and we have, like there's lots of projects you can do without any die cutting. But in this particular case, if you want to use metal dies, you need die cutting machine. If you want to use those frames that I've shown you. Okay, so that's Ornate Garden. And recently, I went to a Zoom workshop, meaning that the Zoom, we did everything with the leader. Her name's Sandra. Let me move this paper so it doesn't fall. Her name's Sandra and she came up with these designs. And what we did is we followed along with her. So she was doing them on Zoom and we were following along and she gave us these parts. So this, we did no stamping cards, meaning there's no stamping involved in these cards because if you're a Stampin' Up! demonstrator, you can't give out pre-stamp things because you have to, like our customers have to buy the stamp set themselves. I can't give you stamps ahead of time, just so you know. I can give you like these kinds of things. Like I, I can give you these pieces, these shapes that you can stamp onto yourself for example, but I can't give you. So anyway, bottom line is that's why we did cards like this. Now these, this, this words are retired now, these words, but the ornate, but I'm using products that are not retired. Only the word hug is, is retired. All this is from the ornate garden suite. These are the ornate frames and borders and things that we made all this with. Okay. So just recently in a zoom workshop, it took me an hour and 15 minutes to make Sandra's cards. And we were talking too, and we were on Zoom, and you know, people were coming in and out. So that's that sweet. Okay. Pretty cool. And there's there's the ones that you, the good one for coloring. All right, Forever Blossoms. Strong and beautiful. Yeah, lots of great stuff in this catalog, as you can see. I mean, just because, just. Fun, fun. This one is a repeat of the Valentine's Day, I believe. Yeah, because there's no, if it doesn't say new, it means that I might not have seen it before, but I, I mean, I have, I, I have that one actually. I think I have this one. Meant to be. Maybe I don't. Coordinates with Stitch Be Mind Eyes. No, I don't think I have that. But I do have one that says Happy Valentine's Day that I got in the last catalog. So what I like to do at least once a year is go through all my stamps and I'm, I indicate which ones are retired and which ones are still current. It doesn't mean I necessarily get rid of the retired ones because I'm kind of a stamp hoarder, but it lets me know like which ones. 
if I'm showing you that you can actually find and which ones you can't because I just use whatever is in my stash. This, there's a neat new dandelion embossing folder as well if you like dandelions. Oh, this one. Amazing! So my upline, her name's Hattie, meaning the person who's my team leader, she told, she told everybody, oh, this is a really neat die set. Let me see if I can find it now. Stitch so sweetly. So I did buy it because she showed some examples with it and I just love the stitching on this. I absolutely love it. Now, I haven't done any projects with it yet, but I do should have it sitting close by. I know I did offer it as a prize. So maybe somebody took me up on that offer, but I don't think I sent it out to anybody yet. Okay, possibly not. That's okay. It's just amazing. I need a bigger craft room so I can play with all these things a little better. Well, good, because while I'm in here looking for that, I did find some things to show you next, so that is good anyway. Oh, here we go. Okay. They were right next to me. They were like right. See this? See my hand? They were right there. All right, that's, that's what I wanted to show you. Stitch so sweetly dies. Now, I didn't get the bundle, but I did since then. Since the time I got these, then these came, and I was like, why didn't I get the bundle? So then, so that's why this will be in my nice, nice next host code drawing. I do, I do a drawing. So if you want to order anything and use a host code, then I have prize drawings. And since I've ordered the bundle, I'm going to have an extra set of those dies. Here's the one I was talking about. This is the one I already have, Heartfelt. That's the one. Okay, more butterflies and more Valentine's Day things. So these butterflies have been around for a couple years now, so or at least since last year. And I have I did show I did a tutorial on YouTube on how to cut this flourish out with the scan and cut and how to cut out these little butterflies. So there is, a, there is a tutorial on Beauty Abounds. If you ever want to know how to cut out a stamp set, you just search for scan and cut. One word, scan and cut. But not A and D, just scan and cut with the letter N. And you can type in the name of the stamp set. And I've probably done a tutorial on it because there's like almost 400 tutorials on my channel. And oh, here's, here's that butterfly that goes with that butterfly duet punch. Yay! Butterfly Gala. I love this stamp set. Okay, and I kind of missed that one too. See the good. I'd have to see something done with that. But that that's not something I'd probably get until I see something done with that. I'm not sure what's going to happen with that stamp set. But this is neat. Invitations. Making some really elegant invitations. And because I'd like to get every single punch in the catalog, I did get this punch. I did get this one. It's a, it's a punch that looks like a little postage stamp. So I got this bundle because I really love sending happy mail and I just can't wait to think of other things to put on these little, these little shapes, you know, besides the, what's already on, besides what's already on those. I think it's going to be so fun. Thanks, Sandra. I'm glad you like these. All right. Peony Garden. I don't have this yet, but I, th again, it's all these, whenever you see a suite and whenever you see new designer series paper, you know that it'll be in my paper share. So these are going to be in my paper share. I did order them to, and then I'll be cutting them apart. I just didn't get anything else in this whole suite except for the paper to give away for my paper share. Not that I won't get it later, but I had to limit myself on what I could get in this first round. So I limited myself to more of the whimsical things. Okay, so that's Peony Garden. I don't know if you say that. Pe peony? I'm not sure how. Pony? Peony? I don't know how to say that. If I'm saying it right. I have this one. This is free as a bird. This was part of the bird ballad suite last year. So that's really cute. And I already have that. And that's a really fun, by the way, coloring with the blends is really fun with that one. Really fun.
So this is nice because this stamp set here also has like a masculine version of it too as well. The, oh, peony? Peony? I didn't know that. Thank you. Peony. Okay, I'm going to have to start saying it like that. Peony. Garden. Thank you. I know. It's like we like too many. Now, I don't know if it was back here with the cards and the whiskey, but there was a masculine sort of set with that. It looks like the same artist made it with it that you can watercolor and blend with. I'm not doing anything like that today. I'm just going to do a little quick paper fold. All right. This is neat. Comfort and hope. This is neat. I didn't get it, but I like it because it's just an instant way to add texture to anything. And it's like, maybe I'll get that next time. This one's been around. My friend Marcel has this, this country set, country home. I remember she bought that. I think it was last holiday catalog it came out. I definitely have this one. I love this one because the reason I love this one, not only to give things to teachers and give out for fall, but I love it because there's a punch. See, it says coordinates with the apple builder punch. So you can make yourself a pumpkin for cute little Halloween treats. You can make yourself an apple for the teacher prize, you know, pre not teacher prize, teacher appreciation. I mean, I just love this. So I, I did get that and I used it a lot less, less fall. All right, so if you are a Stampin' Up! demonstrator and you get to a million, I think 38 people now have got to a million, 38 demonstrators. And when you get to a million in sales, that doesn't mean you keep a million. It means a million in total sales. And then you get anywhere from 20 to 25% of those sales. So there are 38 demonstrators who have done that. And one of the things you get to do when you've done that is you get to design your own stamp set. So let's see who designed these stamp sets. This is called the Million Dollar Achiever Stamp Section. So let's pull it up closer. I'm going to pull it up closer. And it's called Ridiculously Awesome. And it says Rhonda Wade, Million Dollar Sales Achiever. Okay. And then this one over here says, here's, this one is um, over here. This one I did get. It's called Nothing's Better Than. And that is Connie Stewart, Million Dollar Sales Achiever Connie Stewart. And I'm sure there's, I thought there was three. There were three. Yeah, there's another one later. But anyway, isn't that neat that you get to design your own stamp set? And this one I did get, and it comes with dies. I did get this one. Nothing's better than, because I thought that was fun. I mean, not just for coffee, but cocktails, chocolate. It's very nice. Oh, and you guys maybe have seen me do tutorials on YouTube about this. Well, thank you, Kathy. For commenting now. I know people who watch it from the TV can't comment. Back on your feet. See? This one, you can put wobble springs behind it. And you can make your little things wobble. And these, these are just so cute. For, for giving people a good laugh and some, you know, get well cards. I've been using this one a lot lately. So you can look that up on if you want to see how to cut those out with the scan and cut. There aren't any dies for those. And um, very whimsical. Okay, nice. This one's nice too if you have a big family and you want to send things all the time from all of us. This is cute. Not even a big family, just even a little fam cute little family. Look, one, two, three, four, f five little characters. How cute are they from all of us? But it doesn't even have to be. You can just do happy, happy birthday and that's a cute set. But it looks like from We Think and all that. And then this one's been around for a while. Special someone. I don't have that one. Oh, my favorite sweet. My favorite suite, last, last year it was Diner Roar. Last year's catalog, my favorite suite was Diner Roar. And this year it is 100% whale of a time. That's my favorite. So I don't have this yet, but I did order everything in this suite. So I will be doing an unboxing when that comes. Everything meaning there is a punch to make whale shapes. How cool is that? Look how fun these animals are. And look at this little punch to make the whale. I'm not actually going to show you the, you know, this right, the punch section of this catalog because you can't really, you can see it a little better, but I'm saying we have to skim through that. All right, this is neat. This is called a grandkid. So Donita is on my team and every, every month we have team challenges and she won the team challenge and she picked this as her prize. So this just came in. So by the way, if you're watching, you, your, your prize has come in because I had already ordered it to give out as a prize. Because I knew a lot of my team members have grandchildren. So I, I got this prize. So it's called a grand kid. And I just like it because it has. And, I, and as I looked at it, I liked it even better. And I'm like, wait a minute. You don't even need grandkids for this set. 
It's photo. It's rubber. I mean, it's nice rubber. But look, it has a lot of things for just relatives in general. It says best grandkid ever, but no amount of money could ever show how much I love you. Like when I'm giving things to my nieces and nephews, that's that's cute. When you put the twenty bucks in and then you, in the card and you you put that sentiment. And we must be related is is great for anybody. So this is not just a grandkid. Isn't just for grandkids, but it does have something for an extraordinary granddaughter and you know best grand or to an amazing grandson. And best grandkid ever. So there's three sentiments that are specific for that. Which I did like. Okay, so that's pretty cool stamp set. Let's see what else. Moving along. Here's here's my... I this was my favorite suite last year. Now the stamp set carried over. Okay, but the actual... So the stamp set is still around. But the, the paper is not. Okay, so hopefully you were able to get it when it was on sale. And hopefully you were able to get that paper last minute. If not, that's okay. I think I have something I thought I made with this one, this next one here. I'm giving this away soon, but I've had this card and it, I kind of had lost it and I just found it again. So I wanted to show you this card. And um, yeah, there's, there'll be a link to order the catalog. So I'll have a link to how to order it. But um, this is something I made with the scan and cut. So just so you know, this is, if you're, if you're not familiar with the scan and cut, a lot of my videos are on that. And it, I, I teach how to cut out stamped images and how to layer them. So this paper is no longer around. It was in last, the, the last holiday catalog. Last year's holiday catalog, I should say. And that's where I got this from. Sweetest baby and the little fox. And I colored it with the blends. But now I actually have somebody to give this to who had a baby boy. And also because I had unearthed it, meaning I, I made it and then I lost it and then I found it. So there we go. So that's, I really love Wildly Happy. Because of, because of all you can do with that, with the babies. But also just just cute. I mean, it's just beautiful. It doesn't need to be... This is great for Easter, that little bunnies. Okay, now there's a nice kid set here. Uh, moving along. The nice thing when you do look through the catalog in person as opposed to the PDF. I did send out the PDF in my newsletter, but if you look at it in person, you see a lot more things than you see in the PDF. Like, I'm noticing things all the time. Again, this is a new suite called Playing With Patterns. And once again, anybody that signs up for my designer series paper share is going to get a set of 12 of those, you know, that, that sampler again. This is one of those really fun packs of paper because it's only two packs in our whole catalog come in six by six sheets already. And that one of them was flowers for every season. And one of them is this one. And it's really fun because you, they're already cut for you and there's a lot more patterns in those kind. And it's just really fun. So that's called playing with patterns. So we'll see more of these sweets later as people start making, you know, I'm sure you're watching other people on YouTube, not just me, and other people will be making things with the sweets that I don't make things with. And everybody makes different things, which is fun. That's why it's fun to watch other channels because everybody has their own crafting styles and you can take something you learn from different people, put it all together. Zany Zebras is amazing. This is just so much fun. And I'm going to have to do some tips and tricks on this one because I see some gaps already and I know I'm going to have to use my pencil trick on this guy to cut out the zebras because there's little gaps that are going to make it fun, you know, kind of challenging to cut out if you don't use the pencil. All right, here we go. This is the one. This is the one. He might replace my little piggies, the goats. I mean, this is so stinking cute. So the zebras are your favorite, Yvonne? I mean, I'm thinking I like the goats even more than the zebras because of the goofy I mean, as much as I love the zany zebras, I mean, these goats have the goofiest faces. I just love this set. So I, I think I ordered that first. The very first thing I did, I was like, I have to get this set. And it's going to be so easy to color in with the blends. See, just use some simple colors of blends. Like this is just the, using the smoky slate I think they're using. Okay, if you like to change numbers around and give people specific cards, this is a good stamp set for that family party. Yeah, the goats are fun. All right, Forever Greenery. You saw me do this before, but it's time to do it again. <laughs> Sorry, I'm into things. All right, I'm coming back around. So I'll just show you some things from this Forever Greenery suite. 
but you know, not, I'm just going to do it quicker than I did in my unboxing because in my unboxing I showed you all the papers in more detail. I'll just kind of flip through them quicker, but this is the embossing folder. I embossed that with gold foil. We made smaller embossing folders that so are going to fit with our mini embossing machine that will probably be out, I don't know when, but maybe a couple months or so, or a month or two. I don't know when the new machine's coming out. But these little folders are going to fit in that mini embossing folder. But in, in, in the meantime, I use them on my big embossing machine. Like if you have a big shot, these will fit in there, obviously, but they'll also fit in the mini. We have in this Forever Greenery Suite, Forever Greenery, wait. That says trim combo pack. I must be missing where the trim combo pack is. That's this thing here. Forever Greenery trim combo pack. See, that's these nice combo pack. And it has some really beautiful gold thread. And I don't know, I forget what these are called then because I got rid of the packaging. Oh, wait here, it'll say it in here. Let's see if it'll say it in here. Forever Greenery trim design. Well, you know what? They're not even part of this. They're part of another suite. I just put them in that bag. Okay, so the gold hoops are part of this. These little gold hoops. I don't know what I did with my hoops. They're already missing in action. And then this stamp set. Beautiful stamp set. Here it is. And I, used, I did use this already to make stickers with the scan and cut using this stamp set. Okay, it's a cling stamp set. I know I just used that leaf there. I didn't use much of it yet. Hey, we're just getting started. We have a whole year to do, use this stuff to play with it. And... My favorite thing in the suite, but I'll show you the paper in a minute, but look at this. My favorite thing in the suite is the specialty laser cut designer series paper. These elements are going to be perfect for card backgrounds. So I got another pack of that because I was so excited when I opened it the first time. So now I'm going to open up this paper just quickly and kind of go through the, the I'll just show you kind of flip through it is what I'll do because of the time, you know. So, so I'll just kind of do this. So so I don't be, make a big mess on my table. So you get in any pack of designer series paper, you get double sided 12 sheets. So you get two of the same sheet. So again, in my, in my paper share, you're going to get 12 sheets of this. So you'll get two, of, you'll get two six by six squares of each. You're going to, they're going to be cut down into six by six squares because it's called a sampler and you're sampling, you're sharing the paper with someone else. Like four, I have to get, every time I get so many orders, then I can order a new batch of paper. And then I close it out in the middle of the month because I can't take it anymore. <laughs> I won't be able to take it anymore, meaning I'm going to have to replace my trimmer blades like 20 times. No, I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. I can take it. But I just have other things that I have to work on, other projects. So that's why I just do the paper share right at the launch of the catalogs, and that's the only time I do the paper shares. Then they get closed, and we'll do them again later. But that's, that's what the Forever Greenery Suite is all about. And I've done projects with that on my channel. Okay, so moving along... This is really nice masculine here by the dock. That again looks like that. This one here looks like Embrace Each Moment. That to me looks like that same artist that made those water colorings before with the girls and the boys on the beach and stuff and on the chairs. Okay, what is this one called? Very Versailles? Neat. That would go good with the Parisian one. So if you like to do a lot of like crafty stamping where you do a lot of layering and coloring and these these kind of stamps are really nice for that because you can change all the colors and make these beautiful scenes see how they do all the layering and and the coloring and then and that's what our vellum is good for too it's good for layering okay so this is all fun huh i hope you're having fun i'm having fun i just realized a lot of things that i still want to get now after i thought i had what i thought I had everything that I liked and now I'm finding more things I like. Floral essence. There's a punch that goes with this. <laughs> yep, you made your list too. Wish list. A lot of people have the same idea of trying to order today. This went with the woven thread suite last year, this one here. A lot of a lot of people had the same idea, but I think I think our website is better now and that the orders are actually going through now. Okay, so In Good Taste is another suite that I ordered the whole thing of. And I divided the paper up already. I'm going to show you this paper. 
I've already cut up, I mean, I've cut up the paper already. So that this is, these are what are called, in good taste, this is designer series paper, but this pack is very interesting because it has, it's, this is a big pack you get. So it's bigger than normal here, $21. Instead of like the normal $11.50, I think the paper is, unless it's specialty, this one's 21 because it comes with so many, so many patterns and double the sheets. I think it has like 24 sheets, but just look at all these patterns in good taste. Amazing, right? And so you've probably seen lately if I take if you're if you're watching my my feed like I follow some of you guys on Instagram too and if you do follow I'm putting this I'm putting these behind all my pictures now that you're gonna just start seeing any pictures I do it's gonna have like the wood background the fake wood background so I just love all these textures paint and wood and they make great phot photography backgrounds. Okay, there's you get you have an embossing folder. And here's something I made with it. That embossing folder. This is all part of the In Good Taste. Ta or Tasteful Textile, it's called. Tasteful Textile. Part of the In Good Taste Suite. And we have a couple other things in that suite. Let's see. It's kind of hard for me to reach it, but I, I did do another, I did do another folder like using that. Okay, here's, that's the mystery solved. That's where those were from. I was wondering what those were in my bag. <laughs> These, they, that, what was in my bag a minute ago was something from this suite. It's called In Good Taste Elements. Okay, so these, these are part of this suite, In Good Taste Elements. You can color these with the markers, very nice. And then you have the Tasteful Touches stamp set. Beautiful. And then you have the Tasteful Labels dies. Nope, wrong dies. But I did cut out these. I cut out these with those dies. They're really cute little dies. In fact, I'll just show you the picture of them. So this is, again, In Good Taste is a nice suite of products. And I will show you this panning around, and then I'll show you. There's the dies, or there's the shapes of those. So it's just, you can, it comes with all these neat little shapes. I think I got that from here. Now I'm even confusing myself. No, nope, that was from here. This one was from here. I just make a bag of these shapes. What I do is I sit down and I die cut. That was from here too. So these two are from here. See, they have nice stitching on them. I die cut a lot of my Whisper White cardstock, and then I stamp it later. Some people stamp first and then die cut, but I stamp it later. I like to have all these things ready and then make an instant card really quickly when I need to make an instant card. Okay, so that was in good taste. And these are nice little swirly frames. Fancy phrases, so you could get, I got the punch, but I didn't get the stamp set, but you can bundle this together. You can get fancy phrases bundled with this punch. I had to get the punch, because I like every punch. I like to have every punch. So this punch is called, let's see what the punch is called. Fancy top tag topper punch. So this is a new punch to make, to make tags with. Fancy tag topper punch. And I got that punch, and I, didn't get the stamp set to go with it, but you can, and you'd save 10% on the bundle. And then there's this nice wreath builder. Garden shed. Wow, look how nice they made that without even doing any coloring. They made a really nice card with that. And there's the waterfront. That's another one of those scene builder cards that you can make. I'm just seeing if I have my samples of that. No, not closely. Oh, here we go. I do have one. I did bring that one over. Okay, so this is one I, it's one of the cards I made that I just never gave away because I like it so much. <laughs> Sometimes I need to just give my cards away. So this is a card I made with this stamp set here called Waterfront. 
So here's the waterfront stamp set. It's a scene builder. You just take it. This is a very easy card. I just need to replicate it so I can give this card away. But anyway, you just make, you just put the ink on it and you make these with the different colors and you make these scenes that look like the mountain and the reflection and it's just really, really fun. Okay, so that was called Waterfront. That's been around for a while now. Okay, Art Artistry Blooms is going to be a super popular suite because it has what's called the Rainbow Glimmer Paper in it. And it has this gorgeous array of fun colors and papers. But I think the Rainbow Glimmer Paper is going to fly off our shelves because it's the sparkly paper that you can die cut with and do some nice things with. And there's a nice beautiful stamp set to color. And then there's these swirly stamps, like you can stamp, and then you get these swirly elements. All right, I hate to move the catalog around a lot, but I just can't seem to fit it all in the view of the camera at one time. So that's why I don't want it. I want you to be able to see everything. I'm going to go a little faster. Field journal. That's neat. That looks like pencil sketches. Lots of nature, as you can tell, like lots of nature themes. And this, this one was in last year's annual catalog, this silhouette scenes. It was part of a suite called See a Silhouette. Another fun way to texture your backgrounds. Okay, so what you can do with the back of these are background stamps. I have a bunch, I have a couple of these, but I'm, I'm going to get, I think I've already ordered the camouflage, but I'm going to get these two as well. I like to have all the background stamps because they're really, really good. They're giant, meaning you can fit them on a card. You can cover, so if you have, when I mean by a card, you can fit them on the front of a card layer, and you can put this texture, nice texture on your background of your card. So I really like these, and you, these are the only stamps we're going to be selling now that are wood mounted. But you don't have to get them wood mounted. You can get them so you can use them with the Stamparatus. You can get them so that they're cling mounted. Cling mounted is this style. That's just this style with the rubber. You can get them in this style or you can get them on wood, wood mounted. Okay, so that's really nice. I love and I love the new ones. Okay, this is if, if you want to sell our cards that you're making. Oh yeah, you would ink it upside down probably. Here's some, you would, you would ink it up, you, not with your ink pad, you would turn your ink pad over. So say this is my stamp, my gigantic stamp. I would take my ink and I would all over it that way, like upside down to ink something that big. But if you are gonna sell Stampin' Up uh, cards, meaning if you give them away, you don't have to do this, but if you're gonna be selling them, you need to sort of mark I'm trying to find the copyright symbol. There it is. Copyright Stampin' Up. Now, you don't have to use this set. We usually have more than one set. Like I have Crafting Forever. There's more than one set that have the copyright stamp on them. Oh, here's the angel policy. It talks about it. If you sell products you've made with Stampin' Up copyright images, put the copyright symbol on them. Yeah, that's what it's telling you. All right, here we go. In colors. Some of our, I mean, our coloring tools, I should say. I'm going through this quick because... I don't have these yet. I don't have a lot of these to show you yet. And they're not, they're not in my view. They're not like right near me. So we have color collections. So if, if you joined my cardstock share, you would see that you're going to get, you know, some of the brights, neutrals, regals, subtles, <clears throat> and then basics. And you're going to get in colors. So the cardstock you're going to get, <clears throat> let me take a sip of water, sorry, is going to be all of these collections. So that's really fun. And I'm thinking I don't know if I ordered all the, the blends that I needed to. Live and learn. I gotta place another order. I'm just thinking of thinking out loud. Alright, so anyway, these are these are something you might have seen my recent tutorial on how to make Hershey Nugget treats. And I used this paper here. I use what's called the in color designer series paper and that's how I made those Hershey nugget treats and it, this doesn't do it justice I don't think I have any handy but that does not do it justice 
because there's really cool patterns on there. Okay, and then and then this is just showing in this section of the catalog, it's showing how you can store your different things that you buy. So if you store, this is showing you how you can store your stamping inks, your markers, punches. I don't store my punches like this. I put them all in a basket straight up so I can see them. Okay, and that's just showing you how I do have this storage system with my inks my blends and my stamp, my stamp pads, but I don't have my punches in that storage system or my ribbons, but I do put my ink refills in it. So stamp and storage is really good because it's customized to fit our things. Okay. And then we have other stamping tools and mask and different things. Like mask is like a stencil. We have inks. We have different kinds of inks. I'm doing a tutorial on different kinds of inks soon by request. Okay. I don't know if I'll be able to do all these different kinds of inks and coloring techniques, but I'll be able to show at least enough to give you the idea. Now, this is a repeat of what I was showing you earlier with the designer series papers in each suite. This is the index of designer series paper, so you see them all together. And in my designer series paper share, you're going to get some of all these different papers, 10 different kinds, 120 six by six sheets and all, including shipping as well. Oh, there's the in color designer series paper. It does look much better in this picture, doesn't it? Okay, and then lastly, we have our stamping tools. We're almost done the catalog. I just want to finish up, even though it's been a long video, because I want to just make this one video instead of part one, part two, part three. We have some new packaging, so I'll point that out. We have mini paper pumpkin boxes, mini little card boxes. I did order these. I can't wait to see how we can decorate those with the scan and cut and how we can make the little card boxes out of these little three by, they're 3.18 inch each. So three and one eighth inch, meaning they're going to be just great little, little boxes for little cards. And this is that specialty paper I showed you earlier. And then we have our paper basics. And this is that glimmer paper I told you about. That's part of the artistry bloom suite. That's going to be super popular. And I didn't get this yet, but it's, it's flocked, meaning fuzzy. It's like fuzzy paper and velveteen paper. So we'll see how that is. This is the memories and more section because maybe some people like to do scrapbooking and, and card and memory keeping. And that's what these cards help you do. But I like to use them as greeting cards. That's what I showed you that pack earlier. Okay, and there's little stickers and things. Memories and more packs. We have loads and loads of embellishments. The, go, the colors go with our items that we sell. There's always coordinating colors and coordinating gems and things you can get. You can see those in the suite and you can also see them back here. There are those shaker card domes that I used to make these cards with that I showed you earlier. And also in the embellishment section are these little, these little, these little things that you can put in your shaker cards. So you can put these little guys in your shaker cards. You can put these little ones. I mean, there's just so many things. You can put the, this is what I put in this one, these little gems. So it just looks nice when things coordinate like that. So that's just something to think about. This is, I, I used retired ones I had, but there are some, you can get some of their current colors. And then you have other tools. So which can you, markers and blends to, okay, hold on. Which embellishments can you use your markers and blends to color on? Oh, so which embellishments? So you can get those little enamel hearts. Let's see. I've seen people color the hearts. I don't see them right now. But the ones that are plain, frosted and clear epoxy droplets, I believe. We'll have to try that with the blends. But I do see people coloring. There was these little hearts made of the same thing, epoxy heart. Or little, and I saw them coloring with the blends to make them the color. I mean, you can pretty much color anything with the blends, any rhinestones, anything you want, because the blends are alcohol markers, and they'll soak in to whatever you try to color. So we'll try to do that in one of my videos. Okay, and then you have all these cool ribbons. I mean, just great coordination and colors with the sweets. Lots of ribbons. And then we have new adhesive. I did order the new adhesive. It's called, let's see what it's called. I already forgot the name. Stampin' Seal and Stampin' Seal Plus. So I'm going to try it. I'll give it a, I'll give it a try. Okay, the adhesives. And I'm going to let us let everybody know what I think of the new adhesives. 
as soon as I get them, I'm going to try them out. We'll put them through the test. If they can pass my test, then, they, then they're going to be tough adhesives. Punches, I, I think I just want every punch. Absolutely love our punches. So everything is available on my website right now. That's why I was allowed to show you the inside of the catalog. It wasn't available until now. This, except for this, I, everything I showed you up until this point. Okay, so I just want to mention that this is not available yet. Although it's in the catalog, it'll be available sometime during our catalog period, but just not right now. And it has to do with manufacturing and shipping and things. So we're, we'll, we'll, I don't know when these will be available, but if you have a big shot, just keep using that. But you will have two little mini machines that you can use soon from our collection. And we have all the coordinating plates and things to go with those dies. But you don't need all that to make cards. If you're just starting out, I recommend card kits because then you don't need all these extra little things because everything's inside. No, no, the, what can the machines do? The Big Shot can't? No, nothing. This is just a Big Shot. They, can, they don't do anything different. I'm just, gonna, I'm just gonna get it because like, I don't know if I even need that one because I have four or five of these already. But this one I'm getting because it's cute and it's portable and I'll be able to show it on my tutorials without things falling off my table. I think that'd be really good to use. And I like that these machines are portable, whereas mine are not portable. So one thing it can do that my current Big Shot can't do is it folds up and it's portable. See, here it is. That's what mine don't do right now. Mine are very, except for one of mine that's electronic folds up, but mine are very big. My, my Big Shot's very clunky and big and it's hard to bring to workshops. So these are gonna be, these are gonna be great to use for different reasons like that. And I might get one. I mean, I might get another one because I do love to have all the latest and greatest. But really, no, if you already have a die cutting machine and it works, then you're, go you're golden, right? You don't need to go get everything again. Our dies work in any machine. These plates will work in other die cutting machines. So if you just need plates, maybe you have a big shot and you're like, boy, my plates are worn down. Get some plates from us. They're good cutting plates. They're going to be labeled. You know, the new ones are labeled, with, so they're going to be easier to figure out what sandwich to make. You know, so... Everything's versatile. You can use our you can use these dies in other machines and vice versa. And you can use dies, you can use dies from other places in our machines, and you can use our dies in other machines. Because die cutting is pretty standard. You're just the sandwiches might be a little different. Alright, so now I want to talk about two things as I'm doing a little final craft. So finally, there are these bundles. We have we have bundles, meaning when you get things together, you save 10%. So we have what's called stamp and punch bundles. A uh, specialty plate replacing the purple plate. I don't know. Good question. I'm not really that familiar with which plates replace and what, but I think the blue plate is still for sale. I think that's the same specialty plate as the blue one, right? No, this is a new plate. I'm not sure, but we'll, we'll find out more later. Okay, but anyway, let me get back to the, bun the bundles. You have... We have a special right now, so if you join Stampin' Up, you join my team, or anyone's team, it doesn't have to be my team, but I'd like it to be my team, you join Stampin' Up and you get, you know, you, one reason to join is we have great deals, okay, and it's great products, and you'll get to save 20%. But another reason is we have a special going on right now, and a starter kit is $99, and you get to pick out $125 worth of items, and you get a free bundle, and a bundle can be a punch bundle, you get a free one of these, like a set of, like a, a punch and, like this is a bundle. This is a bundle. You get like a dies, you'll get a punch and stamp set, or you'll get dies and a stamp set. Okay, so those are bundles. When you get the stamps and the dies together, or the stamps and the punches. So you get a free one of those. So I'm just showing you what those are. They're in the back of the catalog, and these are the die bundles. These are the die bundles. And look at, you, look at what you can get for free. This one here is the most expensive bundle, $60.25. So for $99, you get to pick out $125 worth of products, and you get this free bundle, $60.25, and you get free shipping. And I'm just showing you the rest of the bundles real quick. You get free shipping, and you get to be part of a great team of people that we love to just craft and share our crafts, and you get a discount, and 
we have team challenges and we do fun stuff and card swaps and I mean there's lots of stuff going on on our two teams you'd be part of my team and then you'd be part of my team's team my uplines team and you'd be part of the demonstrator party planning place to, and that's another that's a bigger group of demonstrators from around the world there's a lot of camaraderie lots of sharing going on and lots of opportunities for swaps and things Anyway, these are just embossing folders, so I'm almost done the whole catalog now. See, I'm just flipping through that quickly. We sell embossing folders. Now, that's one promotion we have going on, is, is that you could join, and that's called the, I put it in my newsletter, it's called the Pick a Bundle Starter Kit Special. The other special we have going on has to do with hosting. So if you want to host a party, and it can be a virtual party right now because of COVID, you could host an online party, and your rewards are, are going to be, you're going to have extra rewards, Okay. So, yeah, zany, zany zebras are awesome, Danita. Did you see, Danita, I got your prize. Look, I, the prize came in the mail. Yippee. Okay, but anyway, back to hosting. This is our host chart, meaning whenever you host a party and you get sales from people that come to your party, like a virtual party or an in-person party, you would get normally, and this can be yourself. Your party can be party of one, like on your order. If your order is $150, it's like a party order and you get 10% rewards. And then if you have a, so, but right now, what the special we have going on is, is for an order that's $250, you don't just get the 10% in rewards, the $25, you get 25 extra dollars. So you get $50 in rewards. So that's what we have going on in June. So if you just wanna place a big order, you'll get, take advantage of that special. Or if you want to, and these are these are things can only, only host can get, hostesses or host, these are stamp sets you can only get with those orders of 150 or more. And then you can buy these stamp sets with your rewards. Okay, but anyway, that's another thing to do. So we have two promotions. One is on a party order or hosting a workshop. And the other is called our Pick a Bundle Recruitment Special. And then we have an index. So that was the catalog. And I'm going to end with just a quick little craft of a... Um, we're going to just make something real quick with this paper. And it is going to hold... Some, it's either going to hold tea or it's going to hold your Ghirardelli chocolates. That's what it's going to hold. And this is a craft that I make a lot. And I get asked about it a lot. So we're just going to make it. So to make this craft, you just need a square of any size square of paper. doesn't matter what kind of square of paper. The smaller the patterns, the better. So let's see. This is a good pattern because it's nice and small. That's too big of a pattern, but that'll be good for the other side. And this one might even be better because both sides have small patterns. So you just take your, you take your, I know we all want it all. You take your square, any size square you're gonna start with, but this one happens to be a six by six inch piece of paper because that's the way that the flowers for every season paper is cut. It's, a, it's six by six already. So that's why I go for it. So when you want to give someone a cute little treat, chocolate, tea, whatever, you can use your bone folder, by the way. I'm just using my scan and cut spatula. Then it's nice to just wrap your tea up in a nice little fashion. So what I'm doing now is called a diaper fold. And to do a diaper fold, you just, after you make your first triangle, that's all I did. And you want your pad, you want your, this pattern to be on the inside because it's not as nice. And you want your nice pattern to be on the outside. Okay, and then you're going to fold across and across and before you make the folds really tight before you crease them with the little spatula I like to get them all straight first by folding this down to make sure I have it all straight so this is the flap that's going to be attached in a minute so to make it straight I make I flip that little guy down and I I go like that there we go and then I know when I have this let's see make sure I'm in focus here okay I know when this little guy reaches that edge there let's make sure I'm in focus okay that that I'm that I have a good crease that it's in a good location so now I can sort of pinch the edges okay and he's gonna stay like that so now I'm gonna, I'm gonna pinch my edges and now I can do this because now it's in like now it's all now it's all straight and everything because I, I did the little flap first I want that flap to be aligned with that line there 
And then you're going to take your, I'm going to use tear and tape adhesive. This is an adhesive I love that we sell because it's, it's just portable and take it with you everywhere. You can use any kind of rolling adhesive and I put a little piece, so I'm just going to open this back up. You can put little pieces on every layer just once at the end and you just start to tear off the tape. You can use any, any rolling adhesive. Put a little piece of that down and I just do that a couple times and put one little piece there. And you can use your little pokey tool to get the dust off, but I was trying to do a very, very simple craft with our new paper. I mean, just something so simple that I didn't want to bring out all my pokey tools and everything. And that's it. Okay, then you're going to take your, your little sentiments. Let's see if we already have one stamp. Yep, we already do. We already have one stamp. Trust me, you're lovely. Okay, so we'll put that on there. And you're going to put that on there with a little dimensional. To make it like pop up a little or two or two dimensionals okay and then it's nice to embellish with a little flower and I have what's called the I have these these are called the in color enamel dots and this is a flower I punched out of the memories and more card pack using a punch called the small bloom punch Put a little flower on there with the dimensional, but hide the dimensional. These dimensionals hide right behind the flower if you get them in the right spot. There you go. Everything's nice when it pops up a little bit. And then you put your little candy in there. Ghirardelli square. Or the same size, because I started with a 6x6, six six, will fit a tea bag. So if you're not sure what to do with the, your designer series paper share when it comes, you need to do at least something simple like this and you'll have something right away that you can give someone with your designer series paper. Okay, and of course, there's an endless amount of other ideas to do with designer series paper like your card backgrounds we talked about and all those other things. But I'm saying designer series paper is so easy to make into little treats. So I hope you enjoyed this catalog walkthrough. I hope you'll check out all that I have going on, sign up for my newsletter and keep informed about what is happening at Stampin' Up! and the Brothers Scan and Cut World. Well, that's all for now. This is the Papered Chef.